guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know, there's been so much talk about baby otters here at the zoo, but guess what? We've had other babies, huh, baby cockroaches, and this is not one of them. We're going to show you them right now. Look at how cute these little things are. I, uh, I know, cute cockroaches, they don't usually go together, but kind of neat, but I wanted to really show you these babies because of how they were born. Really, really cool, the way Madagascar hissing cockroaches give birth. So get this, the mom has an egg sac inside of her body. And that egg sac stays inside of her body for, get this, upwards of two months, which is really long for insects. Now on top of that, once that egg sac is in there and things are are ready to, to let loose, those babies are born inside of mom's body and then exit out of her body alive, not in the egg sac. And she can have up to 60 babies at one time. That's why there's so many of them running around here right now. What a weird way to give birth. Now, I always mess this word up, but it's called oviviparaparis. See, I can't even say it. Look it up. It's pretty amazing. Basically, what it means is these babies are born inside the body in an egg and then are, of course, exited out alive. There are some snakes that do that fish. All the rays out there, like stingrays, they do that as well. Pretty amazing. Now, of course, I've talked about these cockroaches before, but Madagascar hissing cockroaches, they are one of the only 99% of cockroach species out there that are not invasive, meaning they're not a nuisance to people. Only 1% of all cockroach species are considered to be a nuisance against people, meaning they get in your house. There are 3,500 species of cockroaches right here in the United States, and only three of those, if you can imagine that, are actually considered a nuisance. The German cockroach, the Oriental cockroach, and sometimes the wood cockroach or the American cockroach are considered to be that as well. Most of the other ones, like the Madagascar, they are actually living out in nature, away from people, doing what they do best, and that's eating a lot of that decaying material. Get this, a colony of this size right next to me here, they can actually devour an entire carrot and just one day. That's how fast these guys can eat. Pretty cool. Now, last but not least, I did want to mention what I've got in my hand here. This is actually a molt of a cockroach. They molt or shed just like a snake does, and when they're growing up, a young cockroach can actually molt usually once a month as they grow out of that exoskeleton. That's kind of a cool thing to see. But guys, you'll know me. I'll probably, next time I see you out and about, have one of these cockroaches with me. Again, her pip hooray for the baby Madagascar cockroach. Until next time, guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.